All right, girls, welcome to tonight's team call. It is Monday, August 1st, and tonight is um, our first like official work session uh, for team calls. Like we talked about, we were going to start doing um, a couple weeks ago. We are going to be talking about content and copy. So copy is when you're creating your content ahead of time. Um, you're getting that verbiage down on paper or typing it out. I personally use a Google Doc so that that way I can access it from my phone. I can access it um, on the computer and then I can just copy and paste the content when it's time to post okay I do want to go over a couple things really quick um, I'm going to go through um, like some topics that you guys can talk about on each day so you don't feel like you're scrambling and like what do I talk about what should I post about what should I share um, because I feel like that that can be you know we all hit writer's block or um, that creative side sometimes because life is crazy. So before I dive into that, I just want to remind you, I'm going to screen share really quick. I shared a link and if I need to reshare it, I will. I shared a link um, last week that has uh, the calls and signing up for calls. You guys should be able to edit this Google Sheet, okay? I'm asking everybody to help with one call a month um and if you want to do more than that that's fine but you'll see that the dates are here the event so these are team calls the time and then what the topic is going to be for those calls and then um the next two blocks are the two water coaching events that we're hosting as a team so i strongly encourage you to lean in step into um that discomfort and um, put yourself out there. You're always gonna have at least myself or hopefully Caitlin um, to help lead the, the call. It's not always going to be just a, a new coach, okay? It will never be just a new coach, um, but I am asking that you guys who have been coaches for a little while, especially if you're Emerald and above, um, that you're helping to participate in those at least once a month, okay? It helps us grow as leaders and it helps to spread the workload amongst all of us instead of just the same people all the time. Okay, so tonight we're talking about creating copy. Um, and I want you guys to think about when you're creating content and you're creating posts, what's going on in life? Like, I, I think sometimes we overthink what this should look like when really it's just us sharing pieces of us it's breadcrumbing our story. It's breadcrumbing our wellness journey. It's breadcrumbing our journey with coaching and being that light to those who are following us, right? So think about what's happening. What's coming up? What do you want to share about? Some things that you might want to keep in mind are important dates that are coming out from the team calendar. So for example, today, the Lift, group, the Lift More group started. Tomorrow, it launches to clients. The 10th through the 12th, we're doing a three-day what is coaching event. So you want to look at your calendar and be like, okay, so maybe the end of this week and the beginning part of next week, I might want to add in a couple coaching posts to kind of start breadcrumbing that story and creating some curiosity and interest so that when I go invite to learn more about coaching, they've seen a couple posts recently. Or if they haven't seen your post recently and they go to your news feed, they're going to see that you're talking about this opportunity that you're inviting them to. Does that make sense? How you kind of preface your invites with what content you're sharing on your social media, okay? And then um, one thing I wanted to touch on really, really quick um, after talking to a coach today, I, you guys, I don't ever want you to think that you have to be this perfect person that never has a bad day or that you shouldn't be authentic to you. Like that's, that's the complete opposite of what content should be. Do we want to put positive light out there and put that positive spin? Yeah, we do. But we're all humans and we all have bad days, right? So we want to make sure that we're being authentic to where we are in the moment. And sometimes that means we, we don't really want to be as vulnerable or share what's happening right in the present moment. That's okay, all right? Um, but I do encourage you to remember that you need to show up as you don't think that your posts have to always be rainbows and butterfly butterflies and that life is, you know, hunky dory and perfect all the time because it's not, it makes you more relatable when people realize that you're going through hard times. Okay. But when you share those hard times, you just give that positive spin. What are you doing to help work through that? 
right? Maybe it's taking a day off of social media. Maybe it's your workouts. Maybe it's your personal development. Maybe it's listening to music really loud in the car because you need something to just like let your mind wander and just to feel really good energy. But don't be afraid to be vulnerable or to be true to where you are right now. That's, that's the whole point of this is to be authentic to who we are. So with that said, I have a couple um, theme days for you that you guys can take note of that can help you kind of wrap your head around what you can maybe um, talk about on certain days. And then I'm going to give you a couple, um, I'm gonna give you a whole sheet of starter lines and we're actually going to set a timer whatever we have left until 8 30 and we're going to work on creating our content for this week um, or if you've already done this week then you can start working on next week so monday monday is always a fresh slate for everybody right so motivation monday or some sort of motivational theme is always a good start to the week okay um, maybe it's your goals it's setting your expectations um it's uh, what's your focus of the week? You know, setting those mini bars that kind of show your journey along the way. Maybe it's a motivational quote that speaks to you. Maybe it's being honest and saying, I freaking fell off the deep end and drove the truck off the cliff on over the weekend and I need to refocus and reset myself. Okay. But so Monday's theme could be like some sort of motivational theme. Tuesday, Transformation Tuesday, and that doesn't just mean physically, right? I think that sometimes we get stuck in that too, but some sort of transformation, what has changed? What progression have you seen? Um, what was a pain point before the transformation? What have you done? What are the habits you've done to create that transformation? Um, focusing on one specific thing usually like was it personal development was it uh, a certain habit was it your routine was it the community um things like that and then how have those one to two things helped we have to kind of give that step by step right this is where i was this is what i did and am doing to keep growing forward and this is where i am now okay so tuesday could be some sort of a transformation Wednesday, there are several. It could be a wellness Wednesday, workout space Wednesday, or wild card where you pick something. Maybe you share an inspirational quote. Maybe you share your family that day. Maybe you share a recipe. Maybe you share something that you read in your PD and you're giving more of a value post. Okay. You can kind of make that whatever you want. Transformation Thursday. So another transformation Thursday is when most people get paid. So Thursday evenings are usually a really good time to share a coaching post. What are you getting from this? Not even just the income side of it, you guys, the purpose, the fulfillment, the support, being valued, being appreciated. Many people don't have those things in their jobs, right? Many people lack having fulfillment and purpose and a mission and drive in their job. So talking about that, what, what do those things mean and look like for you that you can share with your followers? Okay. So um, focusing on your vision for your business, your team. We have a what is coaching event coming up next week. So you want to talk about the community or what, what keeps you here? What are you excited about when it comes to growing your business and serving your mission? Friday's theme could be something fun, a fun reel, just something crazy off the, off the cuff that is going to make people laugh and smile and bring value in that aspect. It could be flex Friday or it could be family Friday. You pick share your energy, it might fluctuate, you know, you might play around with it and see what your followers enjoy and what you want to share on Fridays. Um, Saturdays could be the virtual or the live workouts, having that community that celebrate you Saturdays, or maybe you make it a family post if you're not currently participating in that aspect of our community. Okay. And then um, Sunday is share Sunday. Again, you pick. Sunday evenings are also a great place to put a call to action, either joining you in your wellness journey um, and joining us in a challenge group or joining us in the coaching opportunity. Um, 
But Sundays are also a great day to share maybe meal prep. How are you setting yourself up for success and giving a handful of key points? This is what I do to set myself up for success. Maybe you lay your workout clothes out. You have, you know, your gallon of water ready um, and um, you have your meals prepped. You know, like what are the things that you typically do to get yourself ready for the week? Okay. So those are just a couple of themes that I wanted to kind of share with you guys to help take that pressure of, oh, what do I talk about? And you don't have to stick to that, right? Like nobody says that this is set in stone. Those are just some ideas. If you're struggling to create content on those days, ways that you can um, show up on social media and share a piece of you. Okay. So now I'm going to go to screen share. We're going to we're going to go ahead and work individually. And I'll show you really quick. You guys, I literally on a Google doc have my days. I started working on it yesterday. So like tomorrow's PM post, I already have typed up. Eight, three is already typed up. Eight, four, I am in the middle of, okay. And I may alter them a little bit before I actually put them and post them live. But this way at eight o'clock at night, when my brain is done, I am not trying to be creative with content. I had time on Sunday, I was home alone and I was able to sit and knock out what my thoughts were for a, a couple of days of posts, okay? And I know not too long ago, we talked about how to create a post that you could use um, an inspirational quote. What did that, how did that touch you? Share the quote and then kind of share how that touched you and how that related to you and how that relates to your story. Here are some really great headlines that are catchy that you can use to get started. Okay, can you guys see those okay? Are they super small? Or can you see them? Yeah, Kylie? Yeah, good. Okay, so what we're gonna do is until 8.30. So we have like 18 minutes. I'm gonna mute myself. If you guys have a question, put it in the chat and I will, I'll pull my chat bar up. I'm gonna work on my phone so that you guys can see these because my copy is there. Um, I don't know if I can see the chat. Oh, there it is. There, if you guys have questions, ask. Otherwise, we're going to just quietly work together and work on creating a couple posts for this week that we can put up and share a piece of our story. Okay. You can, use, so basically what these headlines are is, um, like you would say, um, what would this year look like if you had focused on dot, 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 and then you can share a little bit of piece of your story, what you have been focusing on and what you're excited to continue focusing on. Does that make sense? So you use that as kind of like a catch line or hook line to get people's attention. And then you give them the value after that headline post or headline sentence. Okay. All right, cool. I'm going to meet myself. Let's work for a few and then we'll wrap it up.
All right, girls, we're getting close to 8.30. So if you want to kind of wrap things up, um, does anybody have any questions on how we kind of worked through that? Does it make sense that you can sit down and create that content and kind of spark some ideas with using quotes and like those headlines? Um, I will post, I know I've shared this before and it's actually this um, document is attached to our new coach training file, um, the Google file. Good, Stephanie, I'm glad that that helped a lot. Um, and you guys, you can repeat these things. Like, don't think that because you talked about your workout space last week or the week before that you can't put a different spin on it, you know, like the next week or whatever. Um, so let me know if you guys have any questions. I will share this in the comments. I'll put the, um, the Google Doc link in the comments of the team call, like I do with the recording of the team call. So that way you guys can screenshot it or save it to your phone or save the link to your phone so you can come back to it. Um, but that's just a couple of things that you can do to kind of spark some interest. And hopefully those topics um, for each day or themed days kind of helps you to just get going. And you guys, you will find your stride the more you work at it, right? The, the more you get in the rhythm of doing things and, and talking and, and finding your voice and what your followers relate to and connect to and, and respond to, then you'll start to refine what you're talking about and how you talk about it. So I greatly appreciate all you guys being on tonight. I'm glad that it was helpful. If you have any questions, let me know um, next week. Um, we are going to be talking next week. We're going to work on invites and we're also going to work on invites the following week just to kind of give you guys a heads up. So it will be very helpful for you in the next few weeks to be consistent with your posts. Even if you take a day or two off here or there, if you are mostly consistent in your posts and your stories, it is going to make it easier for you to reach out and connect and invite more people when we work, when we sit down to work on invites. Okay. All right. Perfect. I will get the recording up.